UAD-powered plug-in users, prepare to grace your tracks with one of the most highly anticipated EQ emulations in history, the Manly Massive Passive EQ. Over six months in development, the Massive Passive EQ plugin is exhaustively modeled on Manly's iconic two-channel, four-band tube equalizer hardware. Combining design strengths from console, parametric, graphic, and Poltec EQs, the Massive Passive delivers an extremely warm, rich, and natural sound that Universal Audio has captured in all its analog glory. From subtle shading to hardcore sculpting, this tone box has become an overwhelming favorite of top mixing and mastering engineers worldwide. And now it's available on the U82 platform for Mac and PC. Well, we had been building some equalizers, uh, some Pultec based passive equalizers, and we wanted to take it a step further and build, you know, like a Pultec on hypersteroids, a super Pultec as it were. Well, UA decided to model the Massive Passive first because it was by far the most requested by our customers. And um, we figured to begin with, an EQ would probably be the easiest to tackle, but once we got into it a little bit, we soon realized it was actually going to be one of the most difficult plugins we've ever modeled. The natural open sound of the Massive Passive, as heard on albums from Wilco, Herbie Hancock, Tori Amos, and many more, is perfect for everything from radical tone shaping to delicate vocal or mastering enhancement. I learned about the Massive Passive probably five, six years ago. Jerry Finn, God bless him, uh, had one in his rack and we used to use it a lot, um, like tracking drums mainly, uh, and then we'd use it in the mix as well. Well, the Massive Passive kind of stands alone in terms of other EQ designs in that it's deliberately designed to uh, exhibit all the tasty things that you love about all your favorite EQs from the past 40 years. It's really, the top is really open. It's really nice, it reminds me a lot of the hardware piece. The bottom line to me is it sounds great. So, I mean, this is like, this is my new bus equalizer right here. Painstakingly modeled by the scientists at Universal Audio and rigorously scrutinized for authenticity by Manly Labs, the Massive Passive EQ plugin includes both standard and mastering versions. Both capture the behavior of the original hardware from the unusual filter curves to the multiple band interdependencies right down to the tube amplifier behavior and all-important transformer inductor hysteresis. They work this whole thing from the inside out, which is amazing technology, and it yields an incredibly accurate representation of the massive passive in, in the software world. It's, it's really stunning. I think one of the key sources of distortion um, turned out to be the magnetics. Um, there's a lot of inductors in the circuit, and um, all of them at, at high levels can saturate, but even at lower levels, uh, the magnetics display hysteresis. Uh, one of the features of hysteresis is that it can end up with a relatively consistent amount of distortion over a really wide dynamic range. It's just kind of a subtle amount of, of warmth that, that really um, you know, allows for some interesting and, and different sounds that you won't get out of a, 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 any other EQ. Uh, I, was, I was really surprised when UA called me and said, hey, give us some of these chokes. We want to measure each of, of the 13 inductors that you use in the Massive Passive. And we wind those chokes here at Manly Labs. And they're, they're different, they're ridiculous, they're complicated. Passive refers specifically to the tone shaping elements of the equalizer, which use only resistors, inductors, and capacitors to create all frequency changes and the frequency controls intentionally interact with one another, as do the gain and bandwidth controls. We allowed the components to just do their own thing naturally and organically, and that means the bands do interact with each other, and when you do something here, it affects something there, and there's nothing wrong with that because it has a very musical and organic sound. This unique passive EQ is followed by a well-engineered tube amplification path that provides clear and warm gain UA modeled the unique properties of this stage as well. Well, the tube stages in the Manly were carefully designed to be relatively clean. So they're uh, great amp stages and uh, they behave themselves really well. You know, always there's a, a, a small amount of nonlinearities and I think uh, in this case, it, it can be really pleasant. Each of the four massive passive EQ bands are switchable from shelf to bell and from boost to cut. The standard version offers 20 dB of continuous gain boost or cut as well as continuous bandwidth adjustment. The mastering version offers a gentler 11 dB of gain range with 16 discrete, easily recallable gain steps and bandwidth selections. The 
18 dB per octave high and low pass filters are specifically tuned for the mastering engineer, as well as the 5 dB of stepped gain on the output control. As part of Universal Audio's award-winning UAD-powered plug-in family, the massive passive EQ runs on the Mac and Windows compatible U82 DSP accelerator platform, available from Universal Audio dealers worldwide. This VST, audio units, and RTAS compatible plugin runs in a fully functioning demo mode on the U82 for 14 days, during which it can be purchased directly from the UA Online store. I mean, we've been approached by everybody over the years to, you know, that want to do modeling and plugins and things. The first and most important thing for me is to work with a company I can trust. Take your tone shaping to the next level of authentic analog warmth with Universal Audio's Manly Massive Passive EQ powered plugin only on the U82, only from Universal Audio.